as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. What else can you say about a World War II veteran, a civil rights champion, and a skilled surgeon. Dr. Hector hmm. P. Garcia may have passed away 25 years ago, Katya, but as I found out, he still remains influential to this day. How do you tell the complete history about a legend of the coastal bend? He was very strict with us. Just sit and listen. But then he was also very kind, but he was very protective of us. For about 60 minutes, I learned more about the extraordinary life of Dr. Hector Perez Garcia from the people who knew him best. Extremely loyal yeah. uh, and compassionate. His daughter, who had to share him with the world. He belonged to not only his family, but to everyone. And close friends who personally witnessed his greatness. He was funny and strong. Great guy, you know, wonderful guy. A defender of our freedom during World War II, a Mexican-American who spent a lifetime fighting against discrimination, especially after he witnessed it firsthand while serving in uniform. Most people would just have given up. A skilled surgeon whose thoughtful work did more to heal hearts and minds outside the operating room. He opened doors for Hispanics to become medical doctors, uh, to become attorneys, uh, help veterans get their, their GI Bill of Rights. The founder of the GI Forum that arguably did more for Texas veterans and their families than the VA. The greatest feeling I have ever had about Dr. Garcia was when my brother died. We were both crying. <laughs> we were both crying for my brother. Dr. Garcia's body of work on full display right here at Texas A&M Corpus Christi Library. He documented everything. In less time than it would take to sit through one college class here, I learned of a man who once stood as a giant among all of us, fighting for equal rights and voting was a top priority. That man there had sample ballots in his office and he would carry around voter registration cards with him in his pocket. A life dedicated to human decency, custom made for history books. That's not only still being told. We don't have anyone like him. It's still being written too. He just did so much for so many people. Standing toe to toe to end segregation in Corpus Christi public schools. And so every child had an opportunity to get a quality education. Perhaps best known for defending the honor of fellow veteran Felix Longoria, who lost his life in the last days of World War II. Longoria was denied burial rights at a cemetery in his hometown of Three Rivers, Texas. So influential, Dr. Garcia led the way for Longoria to become the first Mexican-American to be buried at Arlington National Cemetery instead. That was the beginning of the Hispanic Civil Rights Movement. It just opened the door for a lot of these funerals that were refusing to take the minorities. And for all his life's work for veterans, Hispanics, and other minorities, in 1984, Dr. Garcia became the first Mexican-American to be awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, an award his daughter is holding on to. But no one's getting it until he gets a building. A building she wants built on this campus with exhibits to keep her father's legacy alive. I'm going to make sure that that happens. While that chapter is yet to be told, I found something else about Dr. Garcia that won't appear in any history book. You ready? A campus <laughs> tradition here. Students seeking good luck just before taking their tests, giving a little lighthearted rub of the feet of Garcia's 10-foot bronze statue right here on the quad. Good luck to you. Thank you. Even in death, Dr. Hector P. Garcia. We should remember him as everyone's hero. Still bringing hope for tomorrow. Some kind of life, huh? I've only scratched the surface of the numerous achievements of Dr. Garcia and his legendary life. And you can find much more in my story. It's on our website, ChrisTV.com. And in the meantime, Cecilia Garcia Akers and State Representative Todd Hunter tell me that the legislature should take up a plan next session to build an exhibit hall for Dr. Garcia, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that.